Let's start with forging. It has come a long way from making just swords. It is now a process that can use much heavier forces than a hand and hammer. Forging is when you put the workpiece in between two dies. The dies then apply force on both sides of the workpiece and to form it to its desired shape. In extrusion, the work material is placed in a die where a ram will then push the material through and create the desired shape for the work material. An example of a product that would be created using the extrusion process would be solid aluminum cylinders. Then there's rolling. Rolling takes work material and feeds it in between two rollers. The material gets continually fed into the rollers until the desired shape is achieved. One example using rolling is to make structure beams. Let's move on to the drawing process. It is similar to extrusion, but instead of getting pushed through the die, it is pulled through. One product that is made using drawing is a metal pipe. These types of processes are in a class called bulk deformation processes. They usually have significant deformations and massive shape changes. The starting work shapes are usually cylindrical billets or rectangular bars, but in the end, the final shape are drastically different.